all right welcome everyone to another youtube series channel video i don't know it's a bit it's, it's been a while since i've done this um but i want to get back into weekly uploads and i want to start off with uh, this uh, sort of series where i want to make well i've always wanted to do like a uh, tips videos for geogesa but um uh, what I thought instead is that uh, instead of making videos regarding tips, you learn a lot while playing the game. So that's the idea with this. I'm going to make uh, some play along challenges and uh, combine them as a tips video as well. So when I so, so during the video, I'll uh, play three games on three different maps and uh, they'll be play along. There'll be challenge links for that. Uh, the links will be in the description of the video so you guys can play along and I would recommend you to play the challenge first and then check out my my version of it um, so that I can explain my thought process my reasoning behind all my guesses uh, this is meant to be a beginner friendly video so if you're just getting into GeoGuessr if you want to learn uh, some general tips about GeoGuessr as well as some advanced tips as well maybe um, I, I hope uh, this uh, video and this video series can cater to those needs. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of lot to learn in this game. There's a lot to learn about the world, a lot to learn about Street View, and the more you play, the more you get to experience it, the more you get to see different things. And uh, I really hope that this can be a way for me to well, uh, hopefully share whatever I know with. Uh, uh, those who are interested in learning, I guess. So let's get started. Um, first game will be on a diverse world. We'll be playing everything no moving. And uh, the idea behind playing no moving is that if you are playing with moving, you can usually move to a sign or some or something that uh, just gives you straight away the city name or like the country, the flag, the web domain. And the idea for this whole series is to uh, start picking up clues that are uh, useful enough that you don't have to rely on finding a sign or a flag or a web domain. So hopefully by playing No Moving, it's a bit of bit more of a challenge and it can help uh, help with um, picking up these sort of hints. So that's enough talking. I think I've been talking a lot. Let's get straight into this. Let me copy the link so that I can. There we go. And let's get started. So the first game we are playing is on a diverse world, uh, a classic map, a standard map, uh, an excellent map. And yeah, let's get started. So uh, hopefully at this point, you guys have played the challenge already. And uh, now I shall play it and try to explain everything that goes on in my mind before I make the guess. <sighs> All right, so here we are in Round number one, the very first tip and the most important tip, I think, um, when it comes to GeoGuessr is that quite often you don't have to know exactly where you are, but uh, it, it's more like an elimination process. So uh, if you know that you're not in this continent, if you know you're not in this continent, or if, if you know that you're not in this place, you can narrow down the region further and further, and then that way you can get closer and closer to the actual location. So the first tip, most important tip for that is the hemisphere you're in, the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. And the sun is the most important when it comes to that. Here you can see we have a compass at the bottom. Uh, if you are uh, new to the game, you have the option as well to enable this compass, which is uh, also very useful. It's quite accurate. Um, it's up to you. So on this compass, you can see this is the north and then this is the south. But uh, I am uh, one of the old school players who prefers the classic compass. Uh, naturally, it's just a matter of preference. Um, so I'll be using this. On this, the red indicates that the north. So the sun is in the north here, which means uh, that we are in the southern hemisphere. So you can see the equator see the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere and that way you have already eliminated half the planet from <laughs> your potential of where it could be so this tip i will not be bringing up uh, 
too often. I'll just, just mention that the sun is in the north, so we are in the south. Or the sun is in the south, so we are in the north. And uh, I hope that is, that'll, that'll be clear in the future. But this is something I wanted to talk about a bit more right now because this is a very key, very important, uh, very basic tip that, uh, that is, that's useful. So here we have the sun in the north, so means we are in the southern hemisphere. <coughs> And now we have white road lines uh, in the middle and side of the road. Now, one good tip is to, that the Americas usually have yellow lines in the middle of the road. And another good tip is that quite a lot of countries in the world do not have Google coverage. So if you're playing a normal map, like a diverse world, you can see at the bottom it says 2022 Google, which means that this is official Google Street View coverage. And uh, that also helps you narrow down the regions where you could be uh, if you just know which countries have Google coverage and which countries don't have it. So I will be including a link to an image in the description where you can see which countries have coverage, which countries don't have coverage. Uh, and that helps you narrow it down further. So we know we are in the Southern Hemisphere. We know we are not in the Americas. And then a lot of the Africas don't have coverage. Uh, Botswana, South Africa, Eswatini, and Lesotho do, but uh, usually they have yellow lines on the outside and white lines in the middle. But here we have white lines all around, so this means that we are probably somewhere here. And the biggest tip here to identify the country, uh, if, if, if you did not uh, pay attention to any of the things I said previously, if you simply know this, you in, in, immediately know the country because this is a New Zealand bollard, which is a just a road marker which you see quite often in a lot of countries and a lot of different countries have different looking bollards. So there are other resources, there are other videos which talk about what country has which bollard. I'm sure you guys can check this out. But uh, if you see this, you know you are in New Zealand. So let's zoom in on New Zealand. And uh, the next thing we need to guess is where within New Zealand this would be. We ha it looks kind of hilly, it looks kind of mountainous. I am not really sure exactly as well, but uh, the southern island of New Zealand is quite mountainous. So I, I'm thinking this is the southern island, but uh, there's also some mountains, some hills up here. So it's possible it could be there, but I think this is more likely to be somewhere maybe here. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good guess, 4891. So, uh, as you see, that was just an empty road with no signs, nothing. And just based on hints and clues that you would usually tend to ignore, if you start paying attention to them, you can get 40 kilometers away or just even closer maybe if you have a better plonk than this. And that is the sort of thing that I want to bring out through the series is uh, some beginner tips that... Uh, usually tend to miss, um, which help out quite a bit to narrow down where you are in the world. So here again, we have the sun in the north, meaning we are in the southern hemisphere. This time we don't have any road lines, so that doesn't help. But uh, what helps is how dry this place is, uh, as well as these poles, as well as this truck. So let me explain why. Um, just the dryness of the place uh, automatically is uh, it it looks quite a, quite a lot like africa i'd say argentina can be this level of dry as well sometimes but um, that's where these poles come into play these wooden poles are very common in these countries that i was mentioning earlier botswana eswatini lesotho and south africa um, another thing is that this is the back of the Google car, so you could infer from that that you're driving on the left because the Google car seems to be sticking to the left side of the road. And uh, yeah, so these four countries down here all drive on the left, whereas the Americas drive on the right. Australia and New Zealand drive on the left, but uh, this uh, doesn't really look like Australia, does it? <laughs> so. That uh, helps out with the uh, read and guessing. Now, when it comes to these four countries, Eswatini and Lesotho are quite mountainous. This looks really flat, so you can eliminate both of them. And that leaves you either with Botswana or South Africa. 
Um, and with this yellow plate here, I am leaning more towards Botswana. But there is still a possibility of this being South Africa. I can't really rule it out. But uh, I think I will be guessing Botswana. This uh, sand looks kind of... Uh, yeah. Usually the more western parts of Botswana or like northwestern parts as well have like really white sand. So I was thinking maybe could it be there. But I don't really think so. I think I'll guess somewhere close to the capital. Yes, that's uh, good enough. 4730, which is 100 kilometers off. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that was the reasoning for that. Let's move on to the next round. Now instantly, this looks quite a lot like Europe. The architecture, very European buildings. Um, uh, and then, yeah, I feel like... Uh, you're also driving on the right, you have a stop sign which says stop in English. Um, I feel like this is a pretty clear European vibe. Uh, maybe so, maybe so North America is a possibility some people could consider, but uh, this architecture, just keep in mind, these roofs, these kind of buildings, very, very European. So that's the first step. Another tip is that uh, usually I don't really like to rely too much on Google Car, Meta, Antenna Meta and whatnot. So I don't really want to give too many, like I don't want to talk about it too much, but uh, this kind of antenna is also a very European antenna. You don't find it in North America. So that's, uh, yeah, if you see an antenna on the Google Cards, there's a very little chance of you being in uh in uh, US or Canada essentially. So with that out of the way, we are in Europe. Here we can't see the sun because it's cloudy. Uh, so the architecture comes to our rescue. Now we have uh, mountains around us which helps because not uh, everywhere in Europe has mountains. Um, so me, for me this is Slovenia but uh, I will explain why. Uh, it's either Slovenia or Austria, actually. I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, but the reason being that both of them have these kind of mountains. Um, there are also mo mountains up in Norway, but they look really different. Um, once you've seen them, I'm sure you'll be able to distinguish them from these kind of mountains as well. There's a lot of trees on these mountains. Uh, just uh, it's uh, just uh, These kind of trees are also not really common in... <laughs> Norway and Sweden. Uh, I wish I knew the names for these. Uh, <laughs> I really don't, but uh, I just know the look of them. And I'm sure if you play enough, you'll also start recognizing the look of these trees. Um, and maybe if you know the name, then you can let me know as well. Uh, we also have some agriculture and yeah, I don't really know if there's any specific thing. I guess these roofs are also really from like a this kind of area, Austria and Slovenia, I think are the two places that come to mind. Um, I don't really know how to, how, what, what's the technical name for these roofs, but um, they're like blackish roofs with, with uh, like this uh, this kind of tiling, I guess, uh, going down, down slope. Um, very, very typical of this region. So... Yeah, I, I'm not really finding the best words to explain my logic for this, am I? So, uh, I'll just make a guess. Um, I think this is probably Austria, the more I look at it. Uh, so, I'll go southern Austria somewhere, close to Slovenia. Ah, it's Slovenia. <laughs> Damn, I was thinking of Slovenia and then I switched to Austria. But uh, that's uh, fair enough. I guess uh, Austria probably has a... I don't know, it's a... It's a so there's some differences for sure. I should have uh, thought about it a bit more, maybe. Or maybe a bit less. Maybe I overthought it. But <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the general region as, uh, as well. So let's move on to the next round. All right. And now we have double yellow lines, which are very, very typical of North and South America. You can get it in, get them in a few other places like Taiwan as well. But, uh, in general, uh, there's a good pot good high chance that you are in the Americas. 
So that uh, helps with the continent. We're driving on the right as well. That also helps. You can see the sign is on the right. And the cars are also on the right. And then you have these long plates again, which I was talking about. Now, I think in US, Mexico, you do not get long plates. So you can, well, this doesn't really look like the US anyway to begin, begin with. Uh, these kind of fences, just these banana trees. Um, I mean, I'm sure uh, most people could figure this out that uh, this doesn't really feel like the US. So Mexico is a possibility, but uh, with uh, these long number plates, you can eliminate Mexico. And that leaves us mainly with South America because uh, Guatemala and Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico also has have Google coverage, but uh, they have a visible Google car. So if you don't have a visible Google car, you can eliminate them, bringing you in South America. Now, as I talked about earlier, Brazil has long plates. Brazil also has double yellow lines and uh, <laughs> Brazil can definitely look like this. So right now, I think we are in Brazil. Um, Colombia, and you can rule out Colombia firstly because uh, Colombia would have yellow number plates. Ecuador can also be ruled out because it would have shorter number plates. And Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina just don't really look like this. Uh, I don't have really better words to explain it. Uh, Peru, Bolivia, really mountainous. Chile is really dry up here and pretty mountainous in the south. And Argentina is also uh, kind of similar to Chile. It's uh, either flat or mountainous, but uh, it's it's a uh, it's not it doesn't really look this green and uh, with rolling hills. So I think we are in Brazil, and with these kind of hills. I want to say that we are either I want to say that we are either close to Rio de Janeiro, maybe up in Espirito Santo, but I'm not really sure, or all the way down here in Santa Catarina, Rio Grande, Sao Paulo, maybe. So this is the general region I'm thinking. Uh, I think I'll go closer to Rio de Janeiro, just because of these sort of rolling hills in the background that uh, you can see here. All right, that's a pretty good guess, uh, especially for Brazil, <laughs> it's a pretty big country. So yeah, if you see those kind of hills, it's uh, usually here, uh, but down here also has some hills, so that can help. Uh, and yeah, let's move on to the final round. Uh, well, the biggest <laughs> thing that's uh, really hard to miss here is the Google car. It's like a really wide blockish white car um, I'm sure there are some videos out there, some tips, some resources on the Google car metas. Uh, and if you have a meta like this, I feel like uh, it's really hard to avoid it. So this is a Google car that's quite often found in Uganda. So that already narrows down uh, where you are <laughs> to a specific country, which is uh, Uganda right here in Africa. And uh, the thing with Uganda is that uh, all of the Google coverage in Uganda is pretty much around Kampala and near Entebbe, so this area. Uh, there's also some coverage in a few national parks and uh, stuff across Uganda, so Kidepo Valley National Park has some coverage, Kibale National Park has some coverage, so on and so forth. Uh, but if you get this Google car, it's, uh, it means that you're not in any national park. You're just in Kampala and Tebe, this region. So if you just make a guess here, somewhere you shall be close enough. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'll just make a guess close to Kampala and let's see where we are. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I expected. And uh, 24k to start off, that's a really good score. I'll take it. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you guys followed with my line of thought here as well. And uh, I'm sure some of you might have done better than me as well. But uh, this, is a, this is a good way to start off this series. I think uh, 
this uh, sort of gives an idea on what goes on in my head before I make these guesses and how you can make uh, good enough guesses to get a decent score no moving even if you don't have signs or information all right so let's move on let's move on to the next map uh, which is going to be an AI generated world <clears throat> let's go oh wait <laughs> this is single player let me create a challenge link um, and let's save that okay let's go all right so again this is the same thing I was talking about earlier uh, right away as you get in you have a very European looking landscape uh, you have uh, these houses, this kind of architecture, but this time you have uh, different road lines. You have a uh, dash road lines on the side, and uh, the most important hint here is this electric pole. So if you see this kind of electric pole, very thick electric pole with uh, holes all along it, and uh, you can see some yellow paint here as well. It's a it's a Romanian pole. It's a very typical Romanian pole. And you can straight away know you are in Romania just based on this poll. Now, be careful because Hungary and Poland also have similar polls, but they are usually, well, they, they'll usually not be this thick and they usually will not have a yellow paint on it as well. Um, another tip is that these road lines on the side are also not really common in Hungary and Poland, so that way you also know you're in Romania. And the third tip is these mountains because uh, Hungary is usually pretty flat. Northeast Hungary can have some hills, so uh, it could uh, sometimes be there, but uh, Romania has a lot of mountainous areas, especially along these this middle green patch. And uh, Poland is also pretty flat. You can have some mountains down south or even up here. But um, yeah, with all these hints, it's a... Uh, very clear way to know that you are in Romania so the, that's the tip for this and uh, since we are close to mountains I will make a guess somewhere near the mountains oh we were in this part which uh, also has mountains as you can see so that's uh, fair enough that makes sense we were closer to Hungary but uh, at least we got the right country which uh, which is great I'm happy with that Oh, this is a very beautiful round, um, and uh, it's uh, very easy to recognize this country as well, just because of how beautiful it looks. Uh, this is a uh, Norway. This is a very, very typical Norway. You have a lot of uh, roads which are like right next to the water. A lot of hills, a lot of mountains all around Norway. So it's a it's a classic Norway. But uh, two very important tips to identify Norway are firstly these road lines because Norway has long dashed road lines along the side of the road sometimes it can have a middle yellow line as well if it's a bigger road or more important like a highway or something uh, but on smaller roads you have long white dashes going on the side of the road and you also have a generation 4 camera which uh, you can identify by how vivid the colors look in the image so if the image quality looks really nice it's a gen 4 camera and norway has a gen 4 camera in a lot of places but uh, that doesn't mean that other other countries don't have it uh, other countries also can have it but um, uh, I'll, I'll probably include uh, some uh, tips and resources uh, like uh, some links for some websites and stuff which have tips and resources so you can check out which countries have Gen 4 cameras, which countries have Gen 2 cameras and stuff. Um, but uh, the Gen 4 camera, camera in combination with these road lines always has to be Norway because uh, Sweden can have dash lines on the side of the roads as well. But uh, usually they are shorter dashes and they are closely spaced. But uh, Norway has these longer and far apart dashes, I guess. So that's the hint. And the second thing is to guess where you are in Norway. And uh, as you can see here, you can you can't see a single tree. The vegetation here is 
uh, I don't really know the right word for it, but it's uh, devoid of trees, I guess. <laughs> and uh, that is something that you encounter the further north you go. So if you are in a place in Norway where you have pretty much no trees and this kind of uh, flat vegetation, I guess, it means you are very far north in Norway. I'm saying this far north. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, my region guess for this. Hopefully I'm not uh, <laughs> wrong about this. Uh, so let's see where I'll make guess here. Yep, that makes sense. We were even further north than where I went. All the way up here, there's the little lake we were north of. And uh, yeah, so that's a very nice way to remember northern Norway, the lack of trees. All right. Speaking of Gen 4 cameras, here we are again with a Gen 4 camera. Um, again, very vivid colors. You can see the green is very green, and red is very red, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just looks really nice. Again, we have yellow lines in the middle, so we are in the Americas. And if you see this pole, I can't really see it properly, but it's a <laughs> it is a Brazilian pole, so we are in Brazil. And if you can't see the pole properly, like uh, like in this case, the other hint is this. So the back of the signs in Brazil are usually black in color. And uh, that's a very, very easy way to tell that you are in Brazil. Uh, also helps that uh, this is a Gen 4 camera because in South America, you can get a Gen 4 camera only in Brazil, Argentina, and Colombia. So if you get a Gen 4 camera, with a black back of science, you know you are in Brazil straight away. So next thing to guess is where. But we have a sign here, so let's see if I know any of these. Press pretend. Not really. Okay, I don't know any of these places. Um, but this sort of vegetation looks to me like southern Brazil, somewhere here, maybe, maybe even further south. Um, I kind of want to just go Sao Paulo on this because uh, of how this vegetation and landscape looks. <laughs> maybe a bit north in Sao Paulo. Also, this red soil is also very Brazilian. Uh, okay, let's go here. Oh! Oh, that was actually really close. If I zoomed in a bit more, I could have found Presidente, Presidente Prudente, or however you say it. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's good enough. So let's move on. It actually was Sao Paulo, so I'll take it. Aha. Okay, so this round, the biggest hint here is, okay, well, firstly, there is this car, I guess. You can see a little blue badge on the side, which tells you you are. Uh, it's a it's a European place, uh, but the biggest hint here, I feel like uh, I don't even need to explain anything else, are these poles because these are really unique looking poles. They look like a triangle shaped, I guess, triangle shaped ladder, I guess. And if you see these poles, you are pretty much a hundred percent in Turkey. So you don't need to look for any language, you don't need to look for anything else. It's always going to be Turkey with these kind of polls. But if you need more confirmation, there's some language, probably up there as well. Uh, and again, you have a Gen 4 camera. Uh, if you have seen the list of which countries have the Gen 4 camera, you can already start thinking of Turkey. Um, so yeah, this is Turkey, but... Uh, I don't really know where to guess in Turkey for this. Um, I shall make a guess here, but uh, I don't really have any tips for this round on where to guess inside of Turkey. Um, so let's see. Ah, we were just closer to Istanbul. Okay, uh, that's uh, fair enough. Looked a bit European, so makes sense for it to be in uh, pretty much the European part of Turkey. So, okay, let's move on, next round. And uh, what do we have here? 
oh we have this pole okay so this pole is also a very useful hint uh, now double yellow lines as i said usually the americas but there are exceptions and this is the, this is one of them being in taiwan uh, naturally you can also see language here that can also help but um, i i would like to avoid focusing on the language hints too much because uh, i want to help bring out the other hints that are in the game that uh, people often look over uh, and this pole is one of them so if you see a pole with yellow and black stripes going all the way down to the bottom uh, diagonally this is a Taiwanese pole you get similar poles in South Korea and Japan as well but in South Korea you have a uh, yellow and black diagonal stripes as well but they don't go all the way to the ground you'll just see like a small patch of them like here um, and in Japan you also get yellow and black stripes but they're not diagonal they are vertical stripes and they also don't go to the bottom usually so if you see stripes going all the way to the bottom you know that you are in Taiwan um, and then as to where in Taiwan this looks fairly flat most of Taiwan is mountains the flat part is the west this western area we could also be on one of these islands like Pengu County or uh, Lin Lianxiang County, one of these Kinmen County as well. Uh, do I really get an island vibe though? I don't think so. So I'm gonna guess that we are just uh, somewhere on the mainland and guess here. Okay, that's good enough. We were a bit closer to Taichung City, uh, but that's good enough. 22,190 points. Again, no moving, just based on the hints that you have at spawn. Uh, you can get a decent score. So, that's uh, this game done. Uh, and then, do we have time for one more game? Let's do one more, but let's uh, let's make it a little, little bit of a quicker game. So, uh, let's do a rural world, because uh, in this game you'll usually not have clues for language or those kind of things. I might actually not do too well on this as well, uh, but let's hope I can get at least all the countries. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, this looks tough. This looks really tough. Um, <clears throat> all right, so it looks like the sun is somewhat north, and we have a sign on the right side of the road. And the biggest hint I'm relying here on is the Gen 4 camera. You can see it's really vivid colors again. That narrows it down quite a bit. But I am not sure where. So we are in a country which has Gen 4. And it drives on the right. So I'm thinking, could this be Brazil again? Because these fences look, to, uh, look quite South American to me don't really think this is going to be there's a big city there in the distance <sighs> I don't really think this is going to be Asia simply because of the fact that we're driving on the right and we have gen 4 uh, in Asia that would only have to be in Philippines because Thailand Malaysia Indonesia all drive on the left Sri Lanka as well I mean Taiwan I guess but does this really look like Taiwan to me? No. So that narrows it down to South America. I'm thinking Brazil again because of the Gen 4 camera driving on the right and oh, is that a pole? Can't really see it. Um, and yeah, just that city in the distance. So um, I think I'll go Southern Brazil again, somewhere here maybe. Let's see what happens. Not bad, not bad. So I guess the city was Piri, Piracicaba, uh, which uh, makes sense, this region. Uh, but that was actually a really good guess. I didn't expect to get that close on it. Uh, but yeah, it just looked like uh, somewhere in this part of Brazil to me. So we've had a couple of runs in that area already. So I 
hopefully you guys are all starting to pick up on that. Um, all right, this round, I know it's uh, kind of hard to tell, but I think the sun is in the north here. Um, and then the other tip is, well, the Google car is one tip, but the landscape is also very, very typical of this region. So if you see this kind of landscape, there's a very good chance that you'll either be in Peru, Bolivia, Chile, or Argentina. Um, with just these kind of like, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but uh, no trees around. Um, there's some mountains in the distance and just sort of gravel roads everywhere. They're often not paved. Uh, but yeah, just not paved roads, mountains, um, and yeah, maybe just a lack of trees as well. Uh, really, really looks like uh, one of these four. And then you have the Google car as well, which helps. Uh, black Google car is usually, in South America at least, found in Peru, Argentina, and Uruguay. Colombia can sometimes have a black car, but it'll usually have an antenna on it. So this car is not found in Colombia. Okay, so... Uruguay is really flat. Uh, sometimes you can have like a slight hills on it, but you'll never find these kind of mountains in Uruguay, so you can instantly eliminate that, leaving only Argentina and Peru. Um, and with these kind of mountains, I really want to think that this is Peru. If it was in Argentina, it would have to be somewhere in this area, but... Uh, just based on these kind of mountains, this looks uh, fairly Peruvian to me. So uh, this is just something like uh, this, this sort of intuition you start developing the more you play because uh, you see different landscapes, you start memorizing how different mountains look. And uh, yeah, this just looks somewhere Peru. So I'll go here. Oh, <laughs> that was again really close. I didn't really expect to be that close, but... Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, this general area made a lot of sense for that like, that kind of landscape. So I'm happy to be that close. Did I copy this link, by the way? I think I did. Yeah, okay. So I'm happy with this. Uh, let's move on to the next round. Okay, and then this is the, what I was talking about during the Norway round. Is that in Sweden, you get shorter dashes like these, which are closely spaced. Uh, whereas in Norway, you had longer dashes that were spaced further off. So this is how you differentiate Sweden from Norway. Naturally, having said that, this is Sweden. Uh, you can also get this kind of uh, long antenna with a whitish car in Sweden. But a uh, more important hint here is these, these kind of uh, road lines and also these trees. Uh, although you can get these trees in a few other places like uh, the Baltics, Finland, so yeah um so this should be sweden i'm pretty confident doesn't really look super north to me these are really tall trees um so i, I probably could it even be for the south maybe i'll make a guess here i really hope uh, this is not too far off but uh let's let's give it a shot Ah, it was for the north, damn. So I, <laughs> yeah, I, I totally did not uh, see that uh, being that far north, but uh, that's something for me to learn as well. You're pretty much in the middle of Sweden. So that's uh, that's the hint. And uh, this is also a pretty quick guess. So if you, if you see, well, firstly, we have a generation two camera, which uh, you, you can probably find which countries have it in the document as well. So the way to tell a Gen 2 camera is just a, a circular blur on the top and bottom of the camera. Uh, very, very easy to tell. Uh, not the best quality as well. It's an older camera. And uh, yeah, so this is Gen 2. We're driving on the left uh, and the sun. Uh, can you tell that it's in the north? Not really. But uh, if you're driving on the left um, and then you have these yellow lines on the side, and white lines in the middle that I was talking about earlier. That means that you are in here somewhere because these countries usually have 
yellow lines on the side and uh, they drive on the left and uh, with the gen 2 camera this means that this can only be south africa it can't be botswana eswatini or lesotho so that uh, narrows it down to south africa and it's uh, it's fairly flat i don't really see too many mountains somewhere over there so i'll make a guess uh, somewhere here i'm not really the best at region guessing in south africa but uh, we'll see where it is okay it's a bit further north but uh, I'll, I'll take that that's not the worst guess uh, but yeah that's the hint for south africa Ah, and this is a <laughs> this is why it's important to make sure you check which side of the road we're driving on, because this also has yellow lines on the side and white lines in the middle, which I said is found in these four countries, but all of them drive on the left, whereas here you can see we are driving on the right, and um, when you have this sort of situation where we're driving on the right. Any of these road lines, you are either in Jordan or Israel, um, <clears throat> and uh, an easy way to differentiate them again is the Google Car Meta, because uh, Jordan has this black car, whereas Israel will have an antenna on the car. So if you don't see an antenna, you mean you know you're in Jordan. And with this. Uh, kind of landscape you are probably somewhere here flat part of Jordan uh, I'll make a guess here somewhere let's see how we do okay that is the right road but we were further south on it uh, which makes sense this area also pretty flat and uh, yeah with that we get a 21667 I'm really happy I didn't miss any countries on this, because <laughs> if I didn't get a country right, that would have been a bit awkward, but uh, that's good. I'm happy with my scores. I'm happy with how I did. Hopefully, this has been helpful as well. This turned out to be a really long video, but uh, uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll see if I want to upload this, but uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining along, and uh, yeah, hopefully, I'll see you next week with more, more discussion and more tips on uh more more rounds in geocaster so yeah thanks for joining and i will see you next week bye bye